I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today. For those that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives, entrepreneurs and more. There are tons of classes from marketing to photography to design to art and illustration. It's curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Recently I've been delving into this class by Peg Fitzpatrick. It's all about Pinterest and this is something that I've wanted to to learn about recently, well, for a very long time, I just haven't had the chance to sit down and talk about marketing because when I get free time, I prefer to draw and create and design new things. But marketing is actually so important to running a business. I actually had the chance recently to go through this class and they're separated into short segments so I can pick up where I left off whenever I want. I've already learned so much from this class and I'm excited to finish it and actually start pinning and using Pinterest in the way that I should. If you'd like to delve into Pinterest or any of these classes, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this vlog. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. Hello, welcome to another studio vlog. I am currently in the studio foiling. It's Friday about 7 p.m. and I'm printing things, packing things, just getting some orders done because my routine and schedule since getting Mochi has been a bit um, different. So he's currently sleeping behind me. This, this is where he sits now. I don't know how long that's gonna last because he's gonna be a huge Labrador before long. But yeah, I'm just getting stuff done um, as quick as I can. But it's very hard, very, very, very hard with a very needy puppy. issues with my Canon printer there. It's printing at the moment, but it wouldn't print through the manual, no, the rear printing slot. It kept not feeding through the paper, so I'm not sure what's wrong. So I've been printing through the manual back um, slot for now, but I just Googled and apparently you can go on the printer settings page and click clean rollers. So I'm gonna do that now and see if it works. So I've just opened my printer utility and you can see roller clean here. So I'm gonna click that. It's the rear tray that's not working. Click okay. Yes. Okay. I guess now we wait for three minutes. This is a brand new printer. I had it in April maybe. So the fact it's not working is a bit of a, hmm, alarm bells. So that is done. I guess now we just need to print and see if it's working. Please, please, please. <sighs> what? So even after the rollers were cleaned, it's still not working. So back to Google. Having a break outside, sat on the floor of my garden because Mochi wanted a little break. I thought he wanted a wee, but no, he's just laying on the floor. Oh, actually, he's getting up now. Everything's going wrong lately with work. I feel oh, I'm just being dramatic, but good boy. Um, printer's not working. I need to see if I can manually clean it. Um, my foil wasn't working the other day because the paper had changed from my supplier. Um, an order went wrong the other day because I sent it to the wrong address, so two orders were wrong. Um, it's so unlike me. Just things are very, very stressful. I feel like there's a lot of things going on that aren't working and they're all little things piling together and it's just, it's very stressful along with not getting much sleep still due to little Papino over there. Mochi. Cheeky boy. So now I have a cot bud and I'm just going to clean the rollers in here. I said to clean all of them 
and use my finger to tilt that, but don't touch that with my finger. So let's see how this goes. So that's done, I've cleaned it, I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna turn it back on and see if it sucks the paper through. If it doesn't, I'm hoping it's still under warranty because I would prefer a replacement or something. So it's a really good printer. I'm really surprised that it just suddenly stopped taking through the paper because I've had no issues at all until today. while I'm stressing out. Oh, it took the paper. <gasps> Say, while I'm stressing out, this little guy is having the nap of his life. But this has actually taken the paper through. I won't hold my breath, because uh, I cleaned it manually, which didn't seem like the most professional thing to do, even though that's what it said on the instructions online. Um, I just got a little damp uh, cotton wool bud and just, went over it, but it's taking the paper. So it printed. Um, I'm just gonna continue printing and doing some other bits and pieces now and seeing if this isn't just a one-off and seeing if the printer actually works. So I can't actually remember when the last time I spoke to the camera was. I think it's been a long time. I haven't had time or chance to do much work over the past month since having Mochi. Um, I made an exclusive studio vlog for my Patreons, which was about bringing Mochi home and um, how I'm coping with everything and how I'm trying to run a business whilst also raising a puppy. And if you've seen on there, you would know that I'm struggling. <laughs> it's near impossible to run a full-time business whilst raising a puppy, I think. I mean, that's how I'm finding it right now. Um, he's currently done my parents. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't get anything done. I've, I'm doing like five minutes of work here and there, and that's not sustainable. So I'm struggling. It's been a really, really tough month, um, not just because of Mochi, but also business-wise, it's just been really, really tough. Um, loads of challenges cropping up, like uh, foiling stickers and my materials no longer working and sourcing new materials and um, just, yeah, just really, really, a really tough month. Um, but now my parents have Mochi for a few hours. I am... Um, quite behind on work. I need to catch up. So I have a bunch of orders to do. I've had a restock of um, calendars today, finally. So there's a bunch of those to go out today. And oh, also I haven't said on here, but my jumpers are done. So this is the pumpkin spice jumper. They were done last week or the week before. So they're all on Patreon and um, Instagram. I don't think I've actually told you guys on the studio vlog yet. But um, the pre-orders are currently on my shop now at coconatasha.com and Etsy, actually. And they will be released on Wednesday. Wednesday, I forgot what date that is. Let me check. Wednesday, the 15th of September is when they'll be released. So this time I decided to do pre-orders because I didn't want to do a Kickstarter again, but I also didn't want to order a bunch of these in and have nobody buy them. So still pre-orders kind of eliminates the risk of me buying loads of jumpers and then not being able to shift the stock so i will um order all the pre-orders in and then a few extra for those that want to order throughout october um and hopefully that should work but yeah there's um a lot of things 
not a lot of things really going on but there's the jumpers and also i'm thinking about doing a new kickstarter for pins now i haven't collected pins in a while but if i would if i were to see a pin that i wanted i would buy it so whilst i'm not an avid collector i still have a small collection and pins in my shop sell very slowly but surely they're not a big seller but they do sell somewhat I'm not sure if pins are um, selling a lot right now for everyone else. I'm not sure if they're still, you know, on trend. But I made a little collection that I would really love, love, love to make. And these are like little stamps based on my skylines and my art prints. And they would come with a matching backing board, which is a postcard. And yeah, I really... I love them, so I would like to make them a reality, but I was thinking of doing this as a Kickstarter, again, to see if there's demand for these pins and to see if people like them and to eliminate the risk of me buying a load of pins because they're very expensive and then for them not to sell. So I'll show you what they look like. So here are the pins. They're like a little postage stamp and they would be um, in gold gold what's the word metal <laughs> um you can tell i haven't slept in a month and these are the same uh style as my art print so we have london paris uh tokyo and new york all in different colors i still want to edit new york a little bit um and then that's the little collection i was thinking of maybe i will do more depending on how well it goes maybe i'll only fund one and i think i'll start with the london one and then I was looking at the postcard slash backing board. So the stamp pin would go in the corner and this would be the backing board, but would also work as a postcard um, sort of collectible. I'm not sure if I like it without the outlines a bit better though. So then I was testing like Kickstarter awards and I thought maybe like a nice planner sticker set would be nice. Again, this is the one without the outlines. I'm not sure whether I should stick to outlines or not. I quite like how this looks, but also this is what I usually do. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy making these at the moment. But yeah, a Kickstarter requires lots of work, lots of prep. So now that um, Mochi is down my parents, I have time to focus on this, but um, I really need to get some orders done. So let's pack some orders and send them out.
So we are up early today to go to our first puppy class. You can't even see him in the background there. I hope that he's going to be good and doesn't show me up. Ochi, you got a puppy class? morning it is monday today and i am getting my shit together so i have just written my to-do list for the day and i'm printing the wholesale order that was placed last week the jumpers are being released in two days time and the pre-orders are going really well um i'm really happy with how they're going so i um yeah i just want to continue pushing them and advertising them then offering the five pound um promotion for the pre-orders because after that they'll be full price at £40 well £39.99 um, but my Patreons will still get um, their coupons and their discounts and everything but yeah today is a good day. I'm still really tired though like my eyes are not opening fully but yeah it is what it is. So, oh, that's the printer. I've been having a bit of a nightmare recently with foil and my foiled lip gloss labels. And unfortunately, they are my bread and butter. They are the best seller in my shop. And they are the things that have kept me afloat over the past couple of years is my lip gloss labels of all things. I don't advertise these. I just post like little foiling ASMR videos on Instagram from time to time, but they do really, really extremely well on Etsy. And like I said, they're my bread and butter. But recently, I don't know what's changed. I've tried a lot of different things anyway. They started to foil like this. I um, don't know if you can see properly there. So the foil, as you can see, is sticking to the labels too much. And this usually happens when the laminator or the heat is too hot. Um, however, my laminator, um, the mink foil machine, is on heat level one, which is the lowest heat setting. Um, yeah, I don't know what changed. The, my supplier changed their label paper and it's a tiny bit thinner than usual. And I asked them about this and they said they has changed and they're not bringing the old one back. Um, but they sent me different samples of different types of transparent gloss paper that were a bit thicker, but this is the sample and as you can see it's not thick enough. I've tried putting paper underneath it or other sticker paper underneath it to thicken it up but it's still not that perfect result that I strive for. Um, I also thought maybe it's my foil because I changed my foil supplier recently as well um, but I got the oil, the oil? I got the old foil back today and it's exactly the same. I thought maybe it was my mink laminator, so I tried my other one because I got two and the same thing happened again. So I am completely at a loss. And I was explaining this on my Patreon podcast recently that I am, it's such a shame that these are my best selling items and keeping me afloat and paying my bills because I'm not really passionate about these. Although I love the effect, I love the style, I love the holographic, I love the foil. The things I'm passionate about are my sweaters, my stationery, my greeting cards, my art prints, the stuff I love to make, my stickers, um, not not lip gloss um, stickers. But they've always worked for me in, um, you know, helping me run my business. They are, yeah, they're the, the best seller in my shop by, by miles. Um, and I've always wanted to sort of phase them out. I've always wanted to just stop doing them and focus completely solely on the things I love. Um, but I've never been able to because the things I love don't sell as well as these, these stickers. But I literally cannot make these stickers at the moment because they're not working. The foil is fine. The laminator is fine. Unless I get another laminator that has more specific heat settings I'm not sure but then that's a big investment for something that I'm not sure is going to work 
um it's just the paper is slightly thinner and because it's slightly thinner it's, it's doing this so yeah i'm completely at a loss i thought that the old foil and the new samples would work today but um they haven't so yeah and i've also tried paper from a different supplier but it's the exact same paper i think they must get their paper from the same supplier whoever that may be so yeah i just don't know i don't know what else to try so i'm gonna give this one last shot i'm pairing this with another sheet behind it um, to see how it works but this is my current supplier um you can see this is with the old foil this is with the new foil that was slightly better but still not great and this is the other supplier two seconds this is the other supplier with the new foil here which is terrible the old foil which is still terrible old foil yeah it's just not great so let's try this one my old supplier with an extra sheet behind her and see what happens. Now for the moment of truth. Ignore the fact that it's completely out of line. There's still some marks on the sides, but the middle seems okay. It's better than what it was. Okay, it's much better than what it was. Um, it's not perfect because, as you can see, the stickers are out of line. I need to fix that myself. Um, there's still some marks on the edges of the paper. But maybe this is workable. Maybe. Please excuse my hair right now. I am rocking, not rocking this look. I am about to go and get a COVID test because I've just been feeling really run down. What are you crying for? I've just been feeling really run down over the past few days and last night my throat started to hurt and I took a lateral flow test, but it's negative. Um, but my throat, my throat's got worse this morning, so I'm going to book a proper PCR test just to rule out anything. Um, yeah, feeling fine though, really. I am not looking forward to taking Mochi in the car. I don't know how he's going to cope for being in the car for so long. It's not long, but I didn't... I don't want this to be the first time I'm leaving him by himself because I think I'll be gone for the most part of an hour and I want to build up his alone time really, really slowly. So he's going to have to come with me and experience the traumatic um, COVID test with me. I just realised how weird this angle looks as well. <laughs> Honestly, he doesn't care about anything except his harness. He oh, I haven't even put it on him properly. No wonder he hates it. <laughs> Come on then. I think I'll go get a test. Yeah. Let's go, shall we? Paul? Paul? Oh, good boy. Good boy. 
Look how big he is now. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. He looks huge. He's getting so good in the car now. Let's go. So I just got back from the test center. It was fine. The people there were so lovely. Um, it's like they're saying like, oh, look after yourself now. You have some rest. And I was like, they don't even know that I'm actually ill, but all this is a sore throat. I'm just um, checking to be safe. Mochi was great in the car, but he was sick on the way home and I was driving, so I couldn't do anything. And then he ate it. So I'm just, you okay? I'm just glad that I don't have to clean it up. Although I will wipe it down, but yeah. So I'll get the results tomorrow. Hopefully I did it right. It's really hard not, not to touch the side of your mouth. I think it's quite impossible or your tongue. Um, so I hope I did it right. Yeah, we'll see. Now I'm just doing my cards. Mochi is keeping himself busy. I'll be sticking these um, clasps on my greeting cards. They reduce the need for a plastic cello bag. So these just stick over the cards and they can be removed really, really easily. And they're great for keeping the envelope and the cards together. So I'm gonna put all them on now. So I'm just packing orders, packing um, calendars, and this little guy is watching everything I do. He knew, sweetie. Every little boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's so curious. So I want to go on our first walk, but um, he hates the harness. I've put treats in it. Come on, Mochi. It's okay. He looks terrified. You smart boy waiting for your first walk. Look. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. So Mochi hated his first walk. Um, I'm really gutted about it. So I was really looking forward to taking him out and wearing him out and I thought it'd be really nice for him. Um, but he hated it. So I'm just gonna work on it. More positive reinforcement. He hates his harness, but maybe that's something to work on. But yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow morning. I haven't filmed in a while. I've come down with some sort of cold or something. It's not it's not COVID. I have had a test like four times in the past two weeks and all have been negative, but because I kept getting different symptoms and it wasn't going away, it's still not gone. Um, I just kept checking to be safe and we wanted to go to this anime con over the weekend. So I wanted to check that I was okay to go when I was. Um, we didn't spend long there though. It was I think that we are not ready to go out into crowds yet. It was very, very, very busy and quite claustrophobic. And I, we are not ready for that yet, me and Kaylee. Um, so we pretty much arrived and then left straight away. Um, so today's Monday. I'm still trying to recover from this cold. It's quite annoying. 
Um, yeah, I'm just tired and just a bit run down. So the jumpers arrived earlier. So they're in two massive boxes downstairs. Me and Mochi are just chilling on the floor as you do. So I've just texted the embroidery shop and hoping to drop them over there today. And then I'm hoping to just get back to some emails and leave it at that because I need to just take it easy and chill and try not feel guilty because I feel like I've been trying to do everything, running a business and taking care of a puppy has taken its toll on me. So I just need time to relax and recover and look after myself because I haven't been doing that at all lately. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just packing up a wholesale order for a stationery shop. Oh, my nails are awful. Stationery shop in Gloucester called Pull. So once that's been shipped off, my desk can be clear because it takes up the whole of my desk and the packing takes ages because there's so many different um, things in one go. But yeah, I'm going to pack that up now and send it off. And then I need to work on, I think maybe some Pinterest research or some pinning or something because... I need to work on my Pinterest game. It's not very good at the moment, but everyone swears by Pinterest and I'm not really sure um, why or how it works, but I am interested in having a look. And then I'm going to maybe do like a test print of the stickers for the Kickstarter. I don't even know if I've talked about the Kickstarter on here, if I've showed you. If I haven't, I'll show you in the next vlog because this is gonna be running on a bit much now. Um, so yes. I will show you in the next vlog if I haven't spoken about it. I'm not sure where I've spoken about this entire time because I don't know where I filmed. It's been such a weird, weird month. So I'm going to pack up this wholesale order, go to the post office, drop off the jumpers today to be embroidered. And yeah, that's about it for today because I'm trying to take it nice and easy, nice and slow. So that is it. Um, I'm also going to end the vlog now. So I can put it all together and edit it for you. Um, yes, so I'll stop talking and I will leave. And yes, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.